So how do you pronounce your last name? Keek. Keek, okay, cool. I'm here with Dustin Keek. Um, we just did Squat Talk. How did you like it? Was it? It was, it was it, uh, different. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> the most okay. reps I've done in months. Yeah. <laughs> so, walk me through the progression of how you started training. When? Just, just when you started training, like what? Oh man. Were you a skinny kid? Were you big? I started you... lifting in like eighth grade because my coach told me to in football. Going into ninth grade, and then. It was basically just to help with football. Yeah. And then after football, I was like, cool, I can keep lifting and I don't have to run. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And I got fat, <laughs> but strong. Yeah. And then I joined the army, and I just liked lifting. Yeah. Because this was my free time. Yeah. So I kept lifting. I never competed in anything. And then I became a recruiter, like eight years later or something. And a PT is like on your own, basically. Yeah. You just do it whenever you have like individual responsibility. And I was like, cool. Now no one's making me run again. Yeah. So I just kept lifting, and I started getting hurt because it wasn't well like, balanced. Yeah. So I started doing like CrossFit, just because it makes you move around like yeah. a human being. Um, I'm not a CrossFitter. Yeah. Suck at it, but, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm but not... it, like box jumps, running, jumping, stuff like, like that. other things besides just squat just bench lifting. Deadlift. Yeah. And yeah. Then, like so, I stopped. My injuries were going away, and I was getting more well-rounded. And then the guy that owned the gym, uh, CrossFit Wiley, he was like, "You should try powerlifting." And I was like, "That's kind of boring." Yeah. I'm gonna do strongman because I want to move around. Yeah. It's like CrossFit for fat kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Okay, whatever." So he's like a weightlifting coach, and then, but I actually was like, oh, whatever, I'll try powerlifting. Yeah. So I signed up for a meet like two weeks later, and I was like, this is, then I realized it was like competitive, like the yeah. sport part of it. So then, then I did strongman after that, so I like strongman. Yeah. I like moving around, but I decided I'll just keep trying to get stronger. Yeah. So that's... That's the first time I've really competed in things since high school. Okay. Which is fun. Yeah. I've always been competitive. I just never really had... Like an outlet. Like time. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. That makes sense. Or, but you were training the whole time. So you were basically preparing yourself for the day that you were like, okay, it's time to... Yeah. But I'd never focused on like a one rep max. Yeah. And even that meet I signed up was like two weeks out. Like I wasn't ready for... Yeah. Like I think I squatted like 585. I probably could have done it like two or three times. Yeah. Maybe. You know what yeah. I mean? But like But you weren't peaked I wasn't or anything. Peaked. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't know that. And then my bench was like four ninety six, which I'd just done like dumbbells. Yeah. And benched whenever Oh no way. <laughs> like I benched whenever the CrossFit coach told me to bench basically. <laughs> okay, and so then, you were being coached by this CrossFit coach. No, I was just I just went to there yeah. and I just did their programming. Okay. And That's then, where you were getting your program. Yeah, program. yeah, yeah. Okay. So like I think they did like every Friday they do like some type of pressing movement. Yeah. So it was a lot of overhead jerks, presses, stuff like that. And then like in my I always looked at in the afternoon yeah. for the just but I do like dumbbells and bro stuff. Yeah. Or whatever. So it was like a lot of overhead presses and dumbbell presses. And yeah. Then, so like two weeks out, I'm like, okay, three, two. It's like two or three weeks. I was like, oh, I should probably start benching. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> it's in the competition. <laughs> and I like. When was this? Like how long was, ago? That was that? December of seventeen. Okay. And then. Yeah, I don't even like bench press. I just good at really? it. Really. <laughs> and then. Deadlift. I guess I'm built more for squats, bench. I'm just good at. Yeah. I'm probably built for it. I don't know. And then deadlift, I just, I never really focused on strength. I did like reps, and stuff yeah. like that. So like it's, I like working on things I'm not good at. Yeah. And then I never really. So like everything else kind of came natural, I guess. Yeah. Like not that I'm, whatever. But some people strain for squats. They're just yeah. not leverages. They're not built for squatting. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the de deadlift, they're just amazing at it. Yeah. And it's effortless. And to me, it's the opposite. It's opposite. Yeah. Yeah. So for deadlift. I'd never, I think the biggest thing that's helped my deadlift is I've never, before powerlifting, I'd never like, if something sucked, it just kind of stopped. Yeah. And I had to realize like, it's just going to suck. Yeah. Just if you pulling. don't ever like. Just keep pulling. Yeah. Or whatever. As long as your form's proper and everything's good. Yeah. 
like just keep just just going to suck for a minute. Yeah. And then once I realized that, I'm like, okay, whatever. So that's just realizing that. Obviously, I probably got stronger, but realizing that, I think, is helping my deadlift. Yeah. Okay. Even it still sucks. I mean, it's, it's good, <laughs> dude. <laughs> um. So, and do you have any tips for like new lifters or people who haven't been training for very long, struggling to see like five to ten years down the road when their when their strength has sort of peaked? Uh, just be consistent with your, yeah. like, whatever, like, you don't always have to go hire a coach, like, the biggest coach on the internet, yeah. or just, you can just, there's, like, shit little programs out there that are free, you just use them, but be consistent, like, yeah. show up one hour a day in the gym, yeah. three days a week, four days a week, whatever it says, maybe don't go, like, if the program says this, don't add all this other stuff. Yeah. You need to slowly build. Yeah, right? like your like your work capacity. Yeah, you need to build your work. Otherwise, you're gonna burn out in like two weeks, and you stop. And you're like, yeah. You always see the people on social media like, oh, getting back in the gym. Yeah. Like, why'd you get out? Yeah. Why? You know, why? You, yeah. You just screwed yourself over in two weeks. You know, your nervous yeah. system can only take so much. So I think if you just, just kind of. So I guess my advice would be, pace yourself at the beginning, but stay consistent. Yeah. Slowly add. Over time, you see like top lifters will do like so much volume. Yeah, they can they can start that way. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's been for me too. When I, I mean, I've only been like going hard for a year, but when I first started, I couldn't do shit. But I didn't push myself so far that I burned out. I yeah. slowly have been adding like, okay, now I can hit this. Okay. Yeah, I think it just helps in the long term. It's a long, you know, people nowadays because of social media, they want to. Yeah. That'd be my second advice. Screw social media, man. Like you're here for yourself. Like, yeah. like one thing that really irks me is like if I'm if you're squatting, I only your max is let's say it's five hundred. I'm like, yeah. hey man, that was good. Like, yeah. Awesome. Like I'm really am. I'm like, cool man. For me, I'm like I really am. Like, yeah. that was cool. Like awesome. But people when they look at me and if they're bullshitting around, they're like, oh, well, it's nothing like yours. I'm yeah. Like, That's different. Yeah. But some people will really look at me and they you can see the look in their face and they're like. Oh, well, it's nothing compared to yours. Yeah. And I'm like, who the fuck cares what I can lift? Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm really, like, you have to do five before you can do six, yeah. seven, eight. And like, oh, yeah. So be, don't worry about anybody else. Like, yeah. you're, or you're never going to get up there. Stop. No, yeah, yeah. Stop I definitely, comparing yourself to other people. I definitely, it's it's hard with social media because all you're seeing is the best. Yeah, lifts. no you're one watches seeing, the like, worst lifters. No, no one, yeah, no one watches no one cares, the shitty people. Unless they're, like, doing a fail or something. Yeah. But... <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't like, use social media as like a motivation thing or whatever, but just that makes people rush as well. Yeah. Like, you can tie the two together. Yeah. Like, don't, like, you're not going to break a world record like Larry Wheels like next week. Well, I mean, <laughs> like, if you can, you can. Yeah. But that's the best lifters, you know, they're still lifting when they're 40. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, definitely like, their, well, you can see people who like get on a lot of anabolics really yeah. early and then it's like, okay, you lift until you were 30 and then yeah. you can't, you can't do it anymore. It's slow pace, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what do you think the biggest thing lifting has added to your life was? Like, um, it's just something, I mean, I don't drink, I don't party, I don't, yeah. to me it's like, it's, like some people say it's not a hobby they get all into it and all yeah. but it is a hobby like, yeah. like first my family and all that stuff's first um you should your family cares they should probably help you like my, yeah. my wife wants me to she doesn't want to tell me to start competing she, yeah that's like, cool do it. like it's fun something to do or whatever get out there and like do something you know what i mean um um it's just yeah it's gonna be something to do like you know you're not sitting around the house video games is cool that's fine or yeah. whatever but it helps you it is a stress reliever yeah um, like last week I went in the gym to my meet and towards the end of it like I was like alright it's time to go like yeah my, I'm, my body's fine yeah I just start to feel like crap after a while yeah so but some people get caught up like you know they're chasing their demons and they're yeah. like they get all angry and they listen to like hardcore crazy music and yeah. it's not me like it's just not me like yeah. me if my life isn't like good like outside of the gym I don't I'm like why am I gonna spend three hours in the gym? no that definitely makes so sense. like I work <laughs> you know and everybody's different yeah but makes you know I have you have to have balance to yeah. do everything so 
I don't know what it's really done. It's just fun. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> good though. I think that. Yeah, yeah. I think if it's just fun and you're able to compete, like, I think that people definitely. I think especially when you're like my age, and you just, like put everything into lifting, and it's like you have nothing else, and then. Oh, it's just lifting. Yeah. It really it's is like, just a. It's even if you try to turn your hobby into a job or yeah. something like that, like, that's fine, but. And I hope that's American dream. Or yeah, whatever, right. Yes, right. If you like building model airplanes, then maybe you can open a model airplane shop or yeah. something. But that's probably not likely either. Yeah. So most for the average person, they should just, they just, just be a hobby. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? And if you want to chase a couple competitions or whatever, that's cool. But you're, it just gives me something to do to help, like I said, create balance. And yeah. I'm not going out and getting in trouble. And yeah. All that. Yeah, that's how I am. It's like, <laughs> it's like I don't. I mean, most people my age aren't in the gym that much. No. Um, but what they are doing is going out and drinking and partying. It's like that's not that fun. No, it's not. I've never been into that. Yeah, like, I'm not, I have nothing against it. Like people, well, like, like once a year or something, if I'll go hang out with my friends or whatever, if they want to do that. But I'm not. That's not something I want to do every night. Yeah. You know? So it gives me something to do. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got a couple more questions. So, are you a skinny kid deep down in your heart? Do you think that you're a skinny kid? And because I've seen you run with implements, I've seen you do handstand walks. I don't really understand how. How much do you weigh? Two seventy five. Yeah, two seventy seventy five. Jesus, how does a man that big run with things and do handstand walks? I, I don't know, man. I don't like being told I can't do something. Yeah. So that's not why I do it. Yeah. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. But I think people make excuses too much. Like, honestly, I think anybody, you should be well-rounded enough to do a lot of things. Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm more strength, yeah. like, dominant or whatever. But it doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to do a handstand push-up. For sure. Or you know, you're literally, it's just like a press. You're just upside down. Yeah. And you have the core strength to hold yourself up. Yeah. Um, Handstand walking took me, I'm not great at it, yeah. but it took me like weeks to learn how to take a step, and yeah. two steps, and I just fell and fell and fell yeah. and fell, and you just build up the core strength um, and whatever else it takes to do yeah. it, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, but you like wanted to do that instead of yeah. just saying, oh, I'm only strong, I can only bench, I can only squat, I can only deadlift, you were yeah. like, oh, I want to do a handstand walk. Yeah, I'm not going to be great at it. Yeah. any of that stuff but it's still fun to to me to try to do it yeah like I'm not gonna I can't do a ring muscle up oh, God, I'm not dude. too fat but I'll get yeah, one that's... I'll get one eventually yeah and then I don't think I'll be able to do 30 unbroken no but <laughs> but you understand like your expectations I'll, like I probably can't yeah. do 30 ring muscle ups yeah I'll I'll get one yeah. eventually and then maybe and that'll turn into two or something yeah. but it's obviously a lot easier when you're lighter body weight yeah but, like I said, I'm not trying to compete yeah. in, like, the CrossFit Games or anything. Yeah. I'm just trying to be well -rounded. a power lifter. And yeah. that's what I compete in. So if I ever wanted to switch to some other sport, maybe, whatever. But I just think, I think humans should be able to move like humans. Yeah. Right? So you should be able to run, jump. Like I said, when I, I was getting hurt just focusing on one thing. Yeah. So I... I'm not saying everyone has to do Olympic lifting yeah. or something like that. Like, whatever, do what you want to do. But you should be able to move around like a yeah. human. Move with your body. Yeah. You should be able to move it. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not at the point where I'm big enough to struggle with that, but I don't want to be like that. Like, I, no. It just doesn't seem fun to I not think be anybody, like, if I told you to run five miles, like, you should be able to move five miles. Yeah. I'm not saying you even have to run it. Yeah. But there's some people that if I told, like, that I don't know, that lady over there, if I told her to run a mile, she might not be able to... Yeah. Make it a mile without yeah. stopping. Like, I'm not taking running, I mean like walking. Yeah. People that are like dragging their like crawling towards the end. Like, I don't ever want to be that out of shape. Yeah. You know what I mean? So obviously if I focused on running a mile I'd be better at it. But Yeah, but you just um, want to be healthy. Yeah, so that's like the skinny stuff. I always joke like skinny kid stuff. And that was from like a football coach I had. We always do like kicking or Yeah. Or linemen, and we try to like run routes, yeah, like <laughs> fat routes or whatever. Like, we're just gonna go to sit. We joked it wasn't even work, yeah, because we're like on the line, like fighting each other and yeah. throwing each other around and sweating. And, and we're like, those guys are just catching balls, yeah, skinny kids, not doing anything. 
So, but yeah, so it's just it's just fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, and out of all the people you've recruited, is there any one specific person that stood out to you? From a strength standpoint, because I know you have to, you do a lot of tests on them, right? Is there anyone that you're like, whoa, this kid is talented? Yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Somebody hears this. Oh, there's a couple guys that are, they play like college sports, and see where they're probably the strongest. Yeah. I never had anybody quit on me. Yeah. Like when they're doing anything, never had anybody just like stop. Yeah. Most people, I'll say this generation of like people coming in have been like sedentary their whole oh yeah life. They can't do like a like an air squat. Yeah. Like which is properly. sad. I mean that's like they're on their toes, they're falling over. Yeah. They can't do like anything. So you know, you tell them to eat clean, and they're like, that means one McRib instead of two. Yes. And then, like, and that's not a joke. Like that's what they think. They don't understand like yeah. what eat clean is. You know, so they're throwing up. You know, so. But yeah, I have had strong people, but yeah. even those other people I'm talking about, like, can't do an air squat, they never quit, so yeah. I've, So you, I've so got, you think I've that they, they, they could, if somebody had taught them, they could probably yeah, be a lot better. Yeah, I think if people better. just, like I said, moved around more like a human being, like yeah. I try to make my kid, like, she, I don't care what sport she plays in, like, she's nine, she like, likes sports, but she doesn't really like yeah. competing in them, you know, or whatever, she just likes moving around, so that's all I care about, it's just move. You know what I mean? So I don't want you to sit around and your hips tighten up and you're, you can't run at the age yeah. of 10 years old. Or, yeah, no. And then when you're in high school, you're, you know, your hips are so weak that your knees cave in when you yeah. try to s squat down to pick up your pencil or something. Like, yeah. it's, it's stupid. It's unhealthy. That's yeah. where you get hurt. So yeah. that's, I care, even though I, I compete and stuff, like, I care more about, that's not for everybody. If there's like a spectrum of fitness, it's, you know, it starts at, in a hospital, broken, I guess, diseased or whatever, and then there's yeah. general fitness in the middle, and then there's, you know, you're competing. Yeah. Like last week I competed or whatever. I'm not, right now, I'm not, I was strong. Yeah. But, you know, the off season and stuff where you kind of get healthy again. Yeah. So, yeah, because you can't maintain that no, competitive like top, all the time. I'm not a top athlete, but they're, so especially the top guys, like they're so out of. And some, you know, as they get hurt walking up steps for the house and you get on ESPN, you're like, how that guy get hurt? Like, he's yeah. a top athlete. Like, his body's so stressed, he can't handle. Yeah. You know, something probably happened. It would have happened anywhere. You know, yeah. Whatever. But, but you know, or like even my physical therapist, I had, I had a back problem. She, you know, I hurt my, I was picking up something in my daughter's room and I hurt my back. Yeah. I walked in like, so locked up tight. I couldn't even bend over. But at the same time, I was working out every day, like deadlifting and running and jumping and all that stuff. And she's like, you know, you're bracing yourself yeah. whenever you're working out. You're not thinking about it in normal life. So yeah, um, I think people should just move more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's a big tangent on your question. Yeah. No, that's Everyone's fine. Everyone's pretty mean, much been strong, just in different ways. Yeah. No, so. that's cool. But I'm assuming most of the people who come in are have strong wills. Like, they're... they're yeah, and that's what the biggest thing, like, as a recruiter, like, I tell people, like... You know, I'll talk to some small girl or guy or whatever, and they're like, I'm not in shape, I can't do that, I can't climb a rope, I can't. Yeah. Like, there's a place in the army for everyone. And yeah. Like, the media makes it seem like we're all, like, crazy and in shape, and, like, there's, some, most people are not in shape. Yeah. Like, you know, so that's why they're freaking out about changing the PT test to six events. It's a more well-rounded test, in my opinion. It's not yeah. push-up, sit-ups, two-mile run. Yeah. It's a power throw, a deadlift. You go from deadlifting three, 40, I think it's like 340 pounds, and then you have to run at the last event two yeah. miles. So it's like you have to be strong, you have to be able to yeah. run. But you can't um, be so strong that you can't run. Yeah. 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 So you, you have to be more well rounded. The whole test is yeah. more well rounded people because then you're going to have less injuries, you're going to have less ever, like problems, you know yeah. what I mean? So less diseases, less all kinds of stuff. So it's just push that into like the kids. You know, we shouldn't be running the PT or PE in school. Oh should, yeah, no, I mean it should be like there should be more of it. Should be definitely. mandating it, like yeah. Well, like, I mean, like I don't. It's it's definitely hard because I grew up in the generation that was kind of like that's when we were inactive and we yeah, like, yeah. we did have PE, but it was like not yeah. very much. They didn't really. Well, the teachers get in trouble for making the kids do too much. Yeah, and then the parents are like they should be focusing on whatever math or 
like yeah. sacred clears or something like that. But, but like I said, you're gonna have a lot less stress. You're just gonna be a better whatever the heck you want to do. If yeah. you just work out for 30 minutes a day. Yeah. Your mind is. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, everything it gets better. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier, man. Cool. So, well, thank you for doing this. Dude. Yeah, it's fun. appreciate it.